Hello! So yesterday somebody asked me if I could do a quick guide to how to get started with flying online with other people in Microsoft Flight Simulator, so multiplayer flights. It's really quite straightforward. So if we go and click on the world map screen in the simulator, you can see we have Kern Valley here in the US. So we'll go and choose a location. So this is the real key to it. You just put yourself in the place where you know the rest of your friends or group are going to be. You pick an aeroplane, you go to flight conditions, you make sure you are on all players in the multiplayer section. Air traffic doesn't matter, you can have whatever you want. Weather and time, you can have whatever you want. I'm going to choose live. The only reason weather and time comes into it is if you click live players you will only see people that have got live weather yeah so if I say that look notice it grays out so if you go to all players it means anybody in the on the server can have whatever settings they like so when I say on the server if we go and click on our name at the top right of flight simulator you will see there is a multiplayer server option so by default it will be set to automatic and it will pick up whichever is the you know the most logical server to choose that's the fastest and nearest but you can drop down the list and choose whichever server you want so the key to this is you can't see people unless they are on the same server as you okay so this is why you need to arrange in advance if you're doing a group flight for example that you're going to all start from a, a given airport and you'll all be on the same server as each other so usually in the notes of the flight somebody will have written usually in capital letters join so-and-so server so if we go and say West USA for our example here we don't have to sign out or anything we just click the server and then click away from it and then say if we went and click on flight so the simulator is going to load us in while it's loading so how do we arrange to be at the same place as each other so when Flight, Simula when Flight Simulator first launched, I started an online community called Virtual Flight Online expressly to organize group flights because it's much more fun to be flying together now and again than to just be flying on your own all the time. So if you go and click on the Join Us on Discord button at Virtual Flight Online, it will actually launch a piece of software called Discord. And if we go and look in here, got all the details about virtual flights online so discord is a an online community uh, platform so you can join multiple servers within discord and virtual flight online is just one of them so if you go and follow this link at virtual flight online it tells you all about how discord works and then there's a link to join the server which will pop open discord and make you a member automatically it put you through some checks first to say I agree I'm not going to say nasty things and all the rest of it so then once you land in the server you see all the channels down the side and at the very top you will see events so this is events that members of the community have organized and you can see a little number at the top of how many people are interested in doing that event so if you can click on one that you can see some text about it and you say this one for example is saying to take off from a particular airport at a particular day and time yeah if there is more information to write about an event there is actually an events channel so if we scroll down there's an events channel here and you can see some of the the recent events are in here with all of the information you might need to know to take part in the event so you might see this several days in advance because like this one doesn't happen until Monday this is uh, the Monday after or la last Monday sorry <laughs> no this is next this is Monday coming sorry and then that's the Monday afterwards and that's the the week after that so you get some idea you can see lots of information by clicking on these about each individual event so all we need to do in the simulator is turn up in the right place on the right server so just to illustrate this if we go and have a look around I'm just going to press escape in the simulator go to general options and traffic and nameplates is on so if I go back and resume, if we press and go to the um, the drone camera, I'm just going to take off and have a look around. Yeah, there are people around. Look, if we jump into the air, 
There are people around. The higher the camera gets, the more of them we're seeing over the top of the hills. They're, they're nearby. So I've turned the nameplates on so I can see people in the distance. So if you notice, what we can now do, if we press escape, go and click on our name again, while we're running in the simulator, we'll change servers and see what happens. So I will go and choose East USA instead. Close that and resume. Everyone's vanished. But just watch for a few seconds. It takes it a few seconds to start loading people back in again. And you'll see nameplates start arriving, but different ones. And they will be the people that are nearby, there we go, that are joined to the East USA server. Here we go, look, they're slowly appearing in the sky. So it takes it a few seconds for it to happen. Oh, and there's a whole load of them over there. It's probably a group flight happening, given the concentration of them, I would say. So there you go. That is as simple as it gets. Obviously, if we get closer to one of them, we'll actually see them in the sky. So just for argument's sake, let's put ourselves in the drone camera. And then shoot up into the air. Let's go and find that big concentration of people over there. Just to prove it to you, that how it works. I have no idea how far away they are, mind. The higher we get, the faster we go in drone camera. Sorry, in um, SLU. So we can accelerate to get there really quickly. We're going to land ourselves in the middle of this group flight, which seems to be a load of people in big jets. Or maybe it's just a busy airport, and it's, yeah, it's just a busy airport. Now, notice it hasn't actually loaded in all of the airplanes yet. That's just flight simulator going slow, because I've just, you know, sent us several hundred miles across the landscape. So it hasn't had a chance to load the assets in yet, but over time everything will load in and we'll see everybody's aeroplanes. So if we go and put ourselves back on the ground, give it a few moments. So I, I guess the, the key here is don't be too impatient when you're waiting for the multiplayer to catch up with you. This is absolutely classic, isn't it? That the, the, When I want to show this, it's not going to work. Oh, here we go, it's now working, look. So that guy's just appeared. So that's a human there. So it is catching up slowly. Aeroplanes are starting to appear around us. There's another one over there, look, Dow 413. But that's all there is to it. That's how multiplayer flight works. So you just need to put yourself in the right location, on the right server as your friends, at the right time. And a great way to do that is to come and join Virtual Flight Online on Discord. And then you can see when the events are coming up. And you can jump in with us. So if you've seen any of my live streams, then that will make total sense. So you know, you'll know you be able to spawn at the right place, at the right time, on the right server, and you're off to the races. The only thing to be aware of in Discord is the audio settings. So if you go to voice and video in the settings of Discord, then you can choose your input device and output device. So that's how you know if people can hear you or not. So say I was sat in the event channel here, you'll notice that when I talk, it goes green around me, so I know I'm broadcasting. There's a test button inside settings as well, so you can test it out. So there you go. 
I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, look, you can see the aeroplanes are loading in now. So people are taxiing around and you can see things happening. Right. I'll see you again soon.